I've got most of the covers off this thing. I'm going to uh, let it warm up and attempt to demonstrate just how some of these systems work. Digital copiers all generally run on the same principle. They'll read an image through the scanner into their memory banks and then print it onto the drum using a laser rather than an analog copier where it's reflected down and onto the drum directly. There's no such thing as an analog colour copier for that reason. You have to be able to split the image into the four colours. Black, cyan, magenta and yellow. These are your toner supply pots. They're all consumables. These are your fuser rollers heating up. They have 2000 watts or 1500 watts halogen lamps inside them. These are why they take so long to start up too. This here is your transfer drum. The paper is electrostatically attracted to it using a high voltage charge and then revolves once for every colour. Up inside there is the photoconductive drum that's responsible for transferring coloured toner one colour at a time onto this onto the paper that's on this drum, not onto the drum itself. This is an oil fed fuser as well, it uses silicon oil to stop the thick sticky colour toner from sticking to the rollers which are also Teflon coated, it just doesn't doesn't do well with that oil as well. Very obvious warnings about laser di diode danger. Class 3B, 760 to 800 nm 30 watt milliwatts maximum. So they're yeah, a pretty reasonable laser diode in these. This here is your motor and toner transfer control for the image transfer units. There we go. This is your image transfer drum. Sorry, toner. Toner supply drum. These are your transfer rollers. That one's a bit contaminated, it's just been knocked around. And they revolve once for every colour, as required. Bring it up to its home set position. Oh, it doesn't throw up an error when I try and start it. There's a hard drive in there somewhere along with the print controller and the laser. Up here we've got a sub power supply for the scanner lamp, which is also I think 110 or 240 volt AC. The main scanner motor with a nice big rubber mounted flywheel. Various control and logic boards. High voltage charges for the Corona transfer and deact wires. Some more mini flybacks down here. Not quite sure how to hook one of those up as a mini high voltage transformer. Never done it. Main power and filtration. Solid state relay. Big centrifugal blower in there. The main power supply. All three supplies are reading good. You've got 12, 24 and 5.2 volts. Well no, 40. Plus 40 volts. Most of them use 24, but this one must use 40 for its ancillaries. Although well, there is another power supply in there somewhere. And this flywheel is connected to the main drum as well. It just helps to smooth out vibration and any backlash in the system. Not that it moves that fast, it still needs it. Move this thing around. Another logic control board. A little timer or something made by Ranco. Same company that does air conditioning controls. Error. Please switch off power.
Right, this thing is a useless piece of crap. Oh, you get the idea how it works. transferring each colour at a time onto the page. And the page will come up and go through the fuser. There it goes. See if we can get it to do more than once. 